Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, they grow hard. All right, you guys. So I thought that I was going to have a whole car chit chat with you guys on my way up here to get my eyebrows done, but that wasn't the case because I don't have the proper equipment to hold my phone. I thought my regular car phone holder thing was going to work, but it, it wasn't working. So, um, but yeah, so now I'm here about to get these eyebrows done for my graduation tomorrow. Um, I was super nervous all week long. I'm starting to get like nervous, excited because I tried on my, um, my gown today and that is what like did it for me like they did it for me so about to walk in here get my eyebrows done and i will see you when i come out Okay, so I just got done getting my eyebrows done, but look how much of a difference eyebrows make on your face. Like, I don't feel dusty no more. They nice and sharp and they ready to get makeup on them tomorrow. <laughs> All right, so now about to get my nails and my toes done. So I'll meet you there. One hour later. y'all so that was me getting ready for my day tomorrow um my face feels nice 
smooth, clean, ready to get beat tomorrow, okay? All right, so I'm about to um, mold my hair. Well, not, well, I guess it would be a mold, but I'm about to um, do my hair, get it prepped for tomorrow. Um, there is this um, style that I found on YouTube that I wanted to do with the like the bubble ponytail type of a bit and I've already um, put uh, conditioned and uh, moisturized my hair I am about to place it in a in a ponytail to get it ready for tomorrow all right so I was debating all day if I wanted to do like continue with the middle part or do the sad part but I think I'm gonna do the sad part because I always do a middle part uh rather whenever I have my two you know my two twisting or the two braids as y'all seen last week in the back so I think I'm going to do a sad part for this and I'm ignoring my phone so don't try to reach me I can't do nothing for you so don't ask I ain't coming through I'm running away to my own world, that's where I'll stay yeah. When life tries to test me I take it one day at a time Cause I was crying yesterday Okay, so I seen this um, trick Can't recall where I seen that now But, you know, it was somewhere on social media Whenever you are doing like a sad part you like take the front first and part the front out. I think I wanna. So the trick I seen somewhere on social media, you part whenever you're doing like a sad part. So you um part the you take the front out. <laughs> y'all do this, and then you put the black the back in a ponytail, which I'm about to show y'all in a second but um i wanted to show y'all guys um this extreme do you guys does anybody use this i freaking love this gel it flakes though it flakes a lot and it, it gives you big big flake chunks but it does not dry your hair out at all y'all it don't dry your hair out at all it keeps the moisture in there and i really really do like this gel it's called extreme and it says no residue but it leaves residue and it has aloe vera in it it's alcohol free it says it leaves no residue but it leaves residue and it says it has um aloe vera in it so but yeah i really do um like this gel i got it from target i think it was like four or five dollars i can't remember now but i really like it all right, so all week everyone has been asking me, are you excited? Are you excited to be graduating? And I, the excitement didn't hit me. It was more so of the nerves. It was more so of nerves and it's more so of, I can't believe this day is here. Like a lot of you guys know, went through this journey with me, especially those who follow me on Facebook. Um, have been going through this journey with me this long, what, eight year, nine year journey? Oh, damn! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just honestly can't believe that this day is here because I've been wanting this date to come for so long and now it's finally here. So now I'm just, I don't know. It's, it's, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm just trying to take it in. Um, I started going back, I decided to go back to school when I think I was like 24, 25. I wanted to go back or I decided to go back because I was bored and I needed a challenge. I was, um, where I was working at, it wasn't giving me that much of a challenge. And so um, whenever I was job searching, all of the jobs was requiring a bachelor's degree. So I'm like, all right, so now I got to go to school. But at that time, my mom was already going to school. And so I was like, well, 
if my mom is doing it, like, why can't I do it? You know what I mean? So my mom was, um, of course, my biggest inspiration in going back to school. Um, she did go to Carlo and she graduated from Carlo with her bachelor. So um, I wanted to follow in her footsteps and do the same thing. But whenever I first started school, I really was, like I said, I really was just bored and I just really wanted to like meet new people. I don't know to if I could be completely honest. I don't know if I went back to school with the intent to graduate and to get a bachelor's degree. I just know that I was bored and I needed something else to do um, besides going to work and coming home because that's what I was doing at the time. I thought it was funny with me and my mom going to school together. I used to always joke and call her Nikki, Nikki and Kim Parker, because uh, we was, uh, some days we had classes on the same days and stuff like that. It wasn't until my mom graduated in 2015, it wasn't until she graduated is when I actually got the visual of me graduating like I that's whenever I was like all right yeah I, I want to do this because I was just I don't know I was just taking classes and then like I said after I seen her walk across the stage and get her bachelor's degree that was my inspiration and also my motivation to continue and to push on so thank you mama whenever I think about school um I cannot help but to think about my very first class. Like, it seems like it was yesterday. It literally seems like it was yesterday whenever I walked into my very first class. I think it was a Thursday night class. It started at six. And I think the teacher's name was Dr. Sekula. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it was Dr. Sekula. And the class was... Um, intro to business management intro to business management yeah and he's the one who introduced me to um shark tank he had us um we had to do like a whole business plan um and we had to present it to him as if he was like one of the panel uh people on shark tank so he made us uh, watch Shark Tank so that we can get familiar with it and to see how to, um, you know, pitch business plans and stuff like that. I thought that was super cool. Um, and that, oddly enough, um, that was my first class. That is when I first had my, um, oh, sorry, y'all. Did y'all see how I, so I took that ponytail that I did in the front and now I am connecting it. To the main ponytail in the back. So I just wanted to stop and say that. But but anyway, on to what I was saying. So I'm um, in that class. That is where I met my girl Tiana. Hey Tiana. So that's where I met my girl Tiana. Um, she is also a Virgo. She's part of the crew. Love her to death. And um, that's also where I met um Bree. Now, Bree, she did go to Penn Hill. She knew my brother and sister. So whenever I came into class, she was like, aren't you Chelsea and David's sister? And I was like, I am. I am. So, hey, Bree. Um, she actually was, um, that was my first class where I had a group project. Bree, do you remember that experience? That experience was crazy, y'all. Like, crazy. Um, that's whenever I realized my strength, I will say. I think it was about four of us in this group project. So we, what the group project consisted of is that we had to create this business, like I was saying. So we had to create this business. Um, and it was like, you had to ba build it basically. We was building it from the ground up. And we had to present it to our um, teacher, like as a pitch, like how we were on Shark Tank. And I think there was four of us in this group, but that experience that I had in that group, it it really definitely um, tainted me, scarred me, whatever you wanna call, it did all of the things. So in that class, it taught us how to, um, like the different stages that you go through whenever you are forming a group, like how you, what is it, forming it, um, 
I, I forgot the, the literal terms of it, but when you form a group and then you guys are like trying to get familiar with each other and um, then sometimes like you butt, he butt, butt heads because you guys are trying to learn each other. And then once you get through that part and after you learn each other, then the group is like is successful because you went through those different stages. So I'm like, okay. And he said that this was a possibility of this happening. So I was expecting for some of it to happen. Well, the one group member, Bree. <laughs> Listen, listen, I still, whenever I get into groups, girl, I still be having like flashbacks, throwbacks, like, I hope this isn't going to end up like that. Like, it's it's just so funny. So the girl, the one lady in the group, yeah, she was just real difficult. Like, she was just so difficult to deal with. And then we were all thinking because she was an older woman that, and she also said that she, um, already ran her own business um she was like she said she ran a bakery or something else out of her home so we went with a bakery business i can't think of what our business name was called right now but it was a bakery business we were doing like cupcakes and cookies or whatnot and we had to do like this whole i forget how many pages it was but we had to do this whole business plan and like i told y'all it was my first day of class so i was stressing i mean no it was my first class so i was stressing I was stressing because I didn't want to get a bad grade. I didn't know what I was doing. Um, all of that. So anyway, make the long story short. Um, yeah, we end up, I ended up having to go to the teacher. I don't care. I don't care. I ended up going to the teacher and I said, look, this group is not working. Like, it's all three of us over here and then we got this one person over here i really don't want to get a bad grade on this on this business plan because we've been working so hard but she's not doing her work like every time we met up we we had a whole business plan like it was like all right india you do this brie you do this liz you do this the other lady i'm not going to say her name but you do this and every time we met up me liz and brie we all had what we were supposed to be doing but the other woman, like, it was like she she never had nothing. She never came to the table with nothing. That was frustrating. And then not only did she not come to the table with nothing, but she was being so combative. Oh, my God, was she so combative. I've never dealt with or experienced nothing in my life before and after that, thank goodness. Whenever but, uh, we went to do our presentation, um, oh, it was... It was so like we had the the book was laminate like it had the the binder rings oh it was laid out okay so we did our presentation and all the three of us we were so organized with our presentation like it was it was I was a pat on our back okay and um, the teacher to resolve the issue that we had he said that he could tell that we were struggling with her being in the group and he said he could tell that it was you know basically she was the bad apple so he said that it was okay for because i told him i don't want to get a bad grade so he said that it was okay for us to do our presentation separately so we did our our little bit our skit or whatnot and then she did her separately or whatever and he graded us on what we did and he graded her separately which i was fine and okay with that okay because i was like i said I'm not putting my name on anything that is is not quality work. And she was not providing quality work. So um, we end up getting, what we get on that? Um, I can't remember what we got. I think we got a B. I don't know. Or, I don't know if we got a B plus or A minus. I'm not sure. But I know girly got a D. Okay. So, but anyway, that was my first experience. That tainted me. And every single time after that, that I got into a group project, that was the experience that I be like playing back in my head. <laughs> but we got through that and I got through that and it taught me a lot about myself um, whenever it comes to groups. And I, and I like groups. I honestly do. I thought that I wasn't going to like group projects after that experience, but I honestly like um, group projects. I do. Also think about um, my second class, which was a presentation class where I had to like do speeches, like stand in front of the class and give speeches. And 
a lot of y'all know like I am super super I'm not I'm not super super shy but I just don't like a lot of attention on me or all the attention on me so that class was definitely a prestige class as well but I am I will say that I am glad that I had that class as my second class because um it taught me how to do presentations and that's basically what my whole school career was was presentations paper writing presentations paper writing so i am glad that i had that first experience in my first class because it I really helped help shape me in in my school career or school journey rather i don't know what i did with my edge brush it just grew legs and walked away i have looked everywhere for it and i don't know where it is at at all all right another moment um another moment or um that i can remember that i can recall and that sticks so heavily um in my mind and i am getting emotional just thinking about it it's <laughs> out to me is um whenever i ran out of um is whenever I ran out of financial aid. Y'all, I did not... <laughs> I did not even know that that was a thing. I did not know that you can run out of financial aid. So apparently they give... You get like a certain budget amount depending on what degree you're going for. Whether you're going for an associate's, a bachelor's, a master's. I don't know if you get financial aid for a doctor's, doctorate's. I'm not sure. But anyway, I ran out of financial aid and I still needed to complete a lot more classes in order for me to graduate. And um, I think I had scheduled a class or something like that. And they were like, I think they rejected my class or said that I couldn't schedule it. Something. I really can't remember. But I remember I called and they told me that I ran out of financial aid and that I would have to start paying out of pocket if I wanted to continue taking classes. Now, y'all, <laughs> their classes, I want to say it was, um, I think it was like $3,000 a class. And so I was taking two classes because I was going part-time. So I was taking two classes a semester. And um, I was just thinking like, like, what do you mean? Like, I didn't understand. I, I understood. I just didn't think that, I don't know. I just, I'm like running out of financial aid. How, how am I, how am I going to pay for these classes? Like I already came this far and I'm almost at the finish line. I think at that time I had, I want to say I had like six more classes or so. I don't know. I don't, maybe it was six, but I know there was two classes that I had to retake, which was a math class and it was um, macroeconomics or something like that that I had to freaking pay for. So anyway, I'm at work and I got the information of, you know, me running out of funding to where I could not um, finish or excuse me, where I would have to pay out of pocket if I wanted to finish these classes. So I'm like, there, there's no way. There's no way that I'm going to be able to do this. Um, I'm just going to have to quit. And so I'm sitting at my desk at work, y'all, and I got all these thoughts circulating through my head. I got emotional. I started crying. I turn around. Y'all, if y'all don't know Joy, <laughs> Joy Patterson, yes, I said your government, okay? She is such a freaking angel. She is such an angel, y'all. So... I turned around and, um, she, or I think she noticed me crying. I don't know what it was. I can't rem really remember, but I just know that she freaking took me off the phones because I was on the phones at the time. And we went into the bathroom and I told her what was going on and I told her that I was quitting. And she just, she pulled me by my collar and was like, bitch, <laughs> you are not fucking quitting. Excuse me, y'all. <laughs> but those were her words okay y'all know she got a vulgar mouth those who know joy but she had like we had a real big sister moment she is literally like a big sister i can't believe i'm getting this emotional <laughs> 
but um but yeah she pulled me to the side because I really was thinking about quitting because I'm like I can't afford this like I, how many like if it was like one class like one more class that I had to take or even two more classes all right I would have swung it but she uh it was it was a lot it was it was six more classes or seven I don't know but it, it was it was more than two okay and she pulled me to the side and she just you know she gave me that the talk like that pep talk that I needed because I was on a ledge y'all I was on a freaking ledge <laughs> like I'm not doing this f this whatever the case may be but that is a moment that I um that I can recall that also carried me through to finish um and so what I did was I um I can't remember if I was Ubering before or after. I don't know. But y'all, I Uber my behind off. Do you hear me? Hold on. All right. <sighs> Sorry. But I Ubered my behind off, y'all. Like, I was in them Uber streets. You hear me? I used to, um, like, as soon as I got off of work, I would start at, like, I would do four hours a day. Like, every single day, Sunday through Sunday, your girl was killing them. I was getting, like, $1,000 a week. I was not coming in the house unless I had made a hundred dollars that day or that night for four hours or whatnot. But I was killing them, okay? So I was sending um I was sending Carlo um a thousand dollars. I was trying to my goal was to send him a thousand dollars a week. But then other stuff come up. But yes, I was I was Ubering and that is what was like floating me through, y'all. So but big shout out to Joy. That that is my boo right there. Like she she's definitely big sis. Big sis for real. She's definitely an angel. Anybody who knows Joy comes across Joy or watch or what cross paths with Joy. Y'all know exactly exactly what I'm what I'm saying or what I'm saying how I'm feeling and the type of person that she is so but yeah she's definitely um one of the people who I can say that helped me get through to complete this journey thanks a lot for making me cry joy <laughs> Let's change gears because I I thought I was over that. I didn't I didn't know I was still emotional about it. Um how I feel about graduating. I'm still a little bit nervous. I did try on my gown today. Uh it did give me like the jitters and stuff, so I don't know. I just I just don't want to fall when I walk across the stage. <laughs> I just don't want to. Oh, excuse me, y'all. I just don't want to do that. Um, but this is how I, um, I guess I could talk through this, but this is how I be when I do my, my little, my little, what's, edges, baby hairs. This is how I be doing it. I normally have it with my, um, my edge brush, but I don't know where the heck it's at. I have no idea where it is at. So, I'm using this rat tail comb. Alright, I'm a But y'all, oh, also, um, yeah, I can't, I think it's not going to be a real moment. Like, I really can't believe that I'm about to get, have my bachelor's degree. Like, 
I, the way that I looked at people who like completed school um, with their bachelor's, um, even with their master's, I wish I can go on. I wish that I can go on to get my master's. Honestly, I really, really do. But y'all, I ain't, I ain't got it. I ain't got the the energy, I don't got the energy to, to continue on. Um, but that was a thing of me that said that if I did continue, if I did get my bachelor's degree, that I would continue on to get my master's. But I, I, I don't know. I don't even know where I left off because my battery was dying. So, so the next time I will see you, I will, um, have my ponytail in. I don't know if I'll record that because I don't know if I'll have time. I don't know. I'm like nervous that I'm going to run out of time tomorrow or something. I don't know. I don't know. But I have a makeup appointment at 10 o'clock. And I have to be at the Soldiers and Salem's. Soldiers and Sailors. I don't know why I said Salem's. I don't know. But I have to be at the Soldiers and Sailors uh, Memorial Hall at... 11 30 tomorrow so the next time you guys see me i will probably already be <laughs> all right y'all i'll see you tomorrow for my graduation bye